Welcome to today's episode of Cook It, and we're going to make cheesy fries. Cheesy fries are the ultimate comfort food, and they're a great value for your money. What you'll need is some potatoes, some cayenne pepper or paprika, some butter, some flour, salt, some milk, and some cheese. Okay, we're good to go. We're gonna start by grating our cheese. Grate about a cup or more of cheese into a bowl. I use cheddar here, but other cheese works. You can use mozzarella, gouda, or any cheese that you prefer. And now to a hot pan, add about a half a cup of butter. You really want it to be quite hot. You want it very bubbly. Make sure you have a whisk to mix it. If you don't, use a fork. Just make sure it can mix well. To that, we're gonna add about four spoons of flour. Whisk it until the flour absorbs all the butter. If there isn't enough flour, add a bit more. Add about a quarter cup of milk and whisk. It'll get a texture similar to porridge or very wet mashed potatoes. Add another quarter cup of milk and keep whisking until it's about as smooth as my pickup lines. Add milk as necessary until it resembles a thick paste. This sauce is a great one to have on other things, apart from fries. Now, add your grated cheese. At this point, the amount is up to you. Season with a pinch of salt and a few pinches of your pepper and we whisk again. Make sure you keep whisking to avoid the lumps. You want all that cheese melted and the color to be consistent. You want the sauce to be as consistent as possible. If you want it thicker or thinner, add more or less milk respectively. I wanted it thinner because it's runny and it looks so gosh darn good. Okay, on to the fries. This is a trick I learned. Once you cut your fries, peeled or unpeeled, you place them in a pan. Make sure you place them with enough space between each other. Pour enough oil into the pan to cover the chips. Any oil will do in this case. Vegetable oil is a good choice in this case because it isn't too pricey. Turn the heat to its highest setting and wait until it's rapidly boiling. Keep them undisturbed for about six to eight minutes until they start floating to the top. As you can see, these chips are light brown, but you can get them as brown as you like. Now that your fries have cooled on a wire rack, put them in a bowl. Season it with enough salt to taste and some cayenne pepper. Toss it around in the bowl like a salad and make sure each and every fry is coated. You really want to taste the flavor on every fry. This tossing will take about 45 seconds. Add those delicious fries to a plate. And it's time to pour our delicious cheese sauce. Mmm, that looks so good. And here's our guest taster and close friend Sibonello to judge my cooking. And as you can see, he really, really enjoyed these. Tune in to our next episode of Cooking to see what we'll cook next.